Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create this dead camera effect. So, when we die, we will have this nice effect, because now, when we die, it is just like this. So yeah, let's get started. First, let's go to the PP player camera. And let's go to the event graph. And here, what we want to do, we actually want to, let's cut this link from here, Alt and left click and move everything a little bit further like that. Let's add a sequence, so S and left click. And what we want to do, we want to add a branch here from the 10 zero. And we want to check one thing. So what we want to check is Let's actually compile, save, let's go to the third person map. Let's open our character blueprint, so pp third person character. On the event graph, here on the dead function, here I think, yes. Before we delay the game, let's create a variable called dead. Something like that. Let's set it to true. Before we pause the game, or even before we uh, wait. So, yeah, let's compile, let's save all, we can close the player blueprint. Now here, we want to get our player ref, and we want to check if we are dead. Okay. And if we are not, let's actually, let's get the follow camera and also change fall by speed from the false so if you're not dead we want to do this and if we are dead what we want to do is we want to create another variable uh, sorry function called dead camera and let's go back to the event graph and let's connect this here or call it from the true and this speed effect calculation we can get from the 10 1 Okay, because we want these variables to go uh, back to normal even after we have died. Okay, so let's open the dead camera. What we want to do here on the dead camera is first we want to get the camera component. Let's get get it under under here, and let's set field of view like on the last episode like this and here we want to f interp to the current will be the current field of view get field of view let's align them the target will be i will set it to like 70. okay tell the time we want to get the delta seconds And interrupt, interrupt speed, I will set it to two. Okay. So now the, this will get our current field of view and interrupt it to our target, which is 70 in this case. And after that, or basically not after that, but also what we want to do is we want to get the camera component. We want to set world uh, rotation. Okay, let's connect it to here and let's move it a lot further, like this maybe. And what we want to do here now is from the camera component, we want to get world uh, location. Let's actually move this here and let's align this and let's add a reroute. Like this. Yeah. And what we want to do with this will be, we want to find, look at rotation. Okay, we will start from our camera's location and the target will be, let's get the play ref, let's get mesh. And from here, we want to get world, uh, world location. 
So we will get the location of our character mesh. Okay, and be sure to use the mesh because otherwise it will not work uh, correctly if you're using the root component because the root component will stay where the player was when he started uh, simulating physics. So yeah, this way you can really follow the player. Okay, now from here, new rotation, we want to R interp to and actually we want to move these a little bit further down and we want to get from here get world rotation and this will be the current rotation let's actually align them and target rotation will be this delta time get world delta seconds and inter speed let's make it also two you can make it higher, it will be... I will show you. So let's compile, let's save all, and let's play. So now, when we run and hit this, you can see we will follow the camera. Uh, sorry, the player. So it will look pretty nice. It looks at least a lot better. And also if we jump on where we are hitting something like this, you can see we are following the player. Okay. Also, you can make this interp speed here like this. If we make it like, let's make it 10 so you can see what I mean. So now, when we die, it will be a lot more like you can see. Uh, it basically ups the intensity of the camera shaking because it will follow e exactly every movement. So, you can play with the values. I think I think we can actually promote this to a variable. Let's promote it to a variable. And let's call it dead camera follow intensity. And let's compile and let's set it to be like two. Let's actually make it like maybe three. Okay. Let's compile and save. And also now that we did that, we also and promote this target here to a variable. And let's call this maybe oh dead camera target 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 if uh, oh and let's move it over here. And actually let's create a new category for this dead. And also this let's move it to the it. Okay, so now you can play with the values by the variables. But yeah, so for example, if you want to make this dead camera target four uh, a little bit smaller, smaller, let's make it like forty. You can see what I mean. So now when we die, the camera will zoom a lot. You can see like this. Okay. So yeah, I think I want to put it back to like seventy or something like. Maybe, yes. Okay, but you can obviously play with the values. So now I think it's good for me. Looking pretty nice. Let's try once more. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.